Congratulations on your new Celestron telescope. And if you are just starting out in this hobby, welcome. You have an amazing journey ahead of you. And to help you learn about the night sky, every Celestron telescope comes with a powerful planetarium program you can install on your computer called Starry Night Celestron. Check your telescope box for a card that contains your Starry Night Celestron download code and visit celestron.com forward slash astronomy software to redeem it. I'll place a link in the description below. Simply follow the download instructions and enter your six digit download code. The invention of desktop astronomy software has been one of the most exciting developments in the astronomy hobby. Perhaps since that night four centuries ago, when Galileo pointed the newly invented telescope at the heavens for the first time. Starry Night is the premier astronomy software package on the market, putting more power and knowledge into your hands than even the world's most preeminent astronomers had just a few years ago. You can not only look into the past, but you can see how the sky will look tonight, tomorrow, or far into the future. You can view the stars as they appear in your own backyard, from a country on the other side of the world, or from another planet. You can witness a total eclipse from the moon, watch a sunset from the surface of Mars, or even ride a comet. You are limited only by your curiosity. This short video is designed to help you begin to harness the full power of Starry Night. Enjoy the ride. Top 10 tip number 10, moving around. By default, Starry Night always opens with your view facing south, looking slightly above the horizon. You can then adjust this view and look in any direction. The default cursor icon in Starry Night is a hand. When you hold the mouse button down, you will see the hand close, as if it's grabbing part of the sky. If you hold the mouse button down and drag the mouse, your view shifts in the direction that you move the mouse. You can also use the compass points marked along the horizon to find your viewing direction. Top 10 tip number nine, changing date and time. When you open Starry Night, you may see a bright blue sunny sky, a dark sky filled with stars, or a twilight realm with only a few bright stars showing. This is because Starry Night always opens showing the sky at the current date and time. The date and time are shown in the upper left corner of the toolbar. To change the date or time, just click on it. The date or time will light up and you can type in a new value. You can also use the up and down keyboard keys, scroll the wheel on your mouse, or click and hold the value and drag your mouse left and right. Top tip number eight, identifying objects. If you point the cursor at any object shown on screen, information about the object will automatically appear. This is Starry Night's heads up display or HUD. Displayed are the object's name, the constellation it is in, and its distance if known from Earth. This makes it easy to identify any of the points of light displayed on screen. Top tip number seven, listen to audio tours. Starry Night provides in-depth audio tours for over 400 celestial objects, a total of over four hours of content. Simply right-click on a bright object and select audio tour from the menu. Depending on the object type, different information is provided. For example, each constellation tour covers some mythology, its relationship to other constellations, and what time of year it's best seen. Planet tours emphasize their discovery and interesting facts and figures about the internal structure, atmosphere, weather, and any moons that orbit around it. Top tip number six, display constellation figures. For thousands of years, stargazers have joined the brighter stars together into patterns we call constellations. Astronomers currently recognize 88 constellations, which together cover the entire night sky. Knowing which constellation an object is in is the first step to finding that object. On most versions of Starry Night, you can turn on the stick figures in constellations by choosing View, Constellations, Astronomical from the main menu, or simply by pressing the K button on your keyboard. Choosing this option again will remove the figures. Top tip number five, finding objects. Starry Night's universal search helps you to locate not only sky objects, but also celestial events, display options, favorite files, observational lists, sky guide pages, and viewing locations. 
If you are interested in finding a specific object, such as a planet or a bright new comet, click on the text box at the top right of the toolbar and type in the first few letters of the object you are looking for. As you type, Starry Night displays a list of objects that match your name. Universal Search will also return any favorites, display options, events, observation lists, or sky guide pages that might be relevant to your search. Top tip number four, zoom in and out. Now that you know how to find objects, you will probably want to know how to zoom in for a close-up view of a spectacular object such as Saturn or the Andromeda Galaxy. Along the bottom left corner of the main sky window is a set of zoom buttons which adjusts your field of view. Top tip number three, go there. In addition to seeing Mars close up, you can also travel there. Open an object's contextual menu by right-clicking on a PC or by control-clicking on a Mac while the cursor is pointing at an object. Then select Go There. First, your viewing direction will change, and then you will begin to lift off your current celestial body and fly in the direction of the celestial body you have chosen. Your distance from the sun will appear along the bottom of the screen as you fly to this new location. Top tip number two, Sky Guide. The Sky Guide pane is a link to dozens of interactive tours that explore the fascinating science and history of the universe, along with practical tips for navigating the sky, fun facts on the solar system, seasonal tours of constellations, and much, much more. Sky Guide works just like a web browser. Just click on the links and take a tour. Start by exploring the first night out section in Sky Guide. It's an introduction to the night sky and how to navigate your way around by using bright stars and constellations. Then check out the sky calendar. It provides a curated list of stargazing events for each day of the month. It's impossible to cover all of the features in Starry Night in just one short video. However, you will use certain features much, much more than others. And now for my number one top tip. If you purchased a computerized Celestron telescope, you will receive Starry Night Celestron Special Edition, which includes telescope control capabilities. Point your computerized or go-to telescope to millions of objects simply by selecting them in Starry Night. In conclusion, the sky is out there for us to enjoy, and the enjoyment is only increased when we understand what we are seeing. We hope Starry Night Celestron will enrich your experience of the wonders above our heads.